Hi guys, welcome to Scale Model Headquarters. In this video I am going to show you how I painted and whether the PZM7 you saw me build in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you go watch that first. I started by priming it with Tamiya Fine Surface Primer to ensure the paint will stick to the model and to unify it before painting. After letting the primer dry properly, I started pre-shading it with XF69 NATO Black. This will add a bit more variety to the paint job. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you should always try to paint the black on areas where the shadows would naturally be. Once the black had dried, I applied several coats of highly diluted XF81 dark green over the pre-shading. I did not like the color, so I applied a coat of X26 clear orange to slightly change the tone of the dark green. After a clear coat I put on the decals and after drying them with a tissue paper I apply the decal solution on top of them. This will help them to stick to the surface properly. Next I painted the hydraulic tubing and after another coat of clear varnish I started with weathering. I painted the exhausts in XF64 red brown, wet them down with water and sprinkled salt on them. After the salt had some time to dry I used an airbrush to spray XF81 over it. Then I just wiped off the salt and touched up the paint job with a variety of plastic colors applied with a sponge. After that I could start weathering the main body. First I made some chipping and scratches. I took a sponge with a mix of XF81 and XF2 on it and applied this mix with a stapling motion on the surfaces where the paint would be most likely worn out. Then I took a fine brush and applied the same mix to areas that weren't accessible with the sponge. Next I took XF64 red brown and painted the insides of those chips and scratches to make them look deeper.
After yet another clear coat, I applied oil paint to the rivets. This will bring out some of the detail and make it look more worn after I wipe it off with enamel thinner because it will work as a wash. The streak in rust was made by applying small amount of burnt umber oil paint under the rivets and dragging it in the direction it would naturally streak, in this case downwards. As for the rifle, I painted the gun stock in XF57 buff. After masking it off, I used XF84 dark iron. Unfortunately, I noticed that this paint has small silvery flakes in it, so I had to respray it with XF85 rubber black. After applying a clear coat, I moved on to making the wood grain. I painted the gun stock with burnt amber oil paint and let it dry for a few seconds. Then I took a moderately stiff dry brush and started making the wood grain with it. I let the oil paints dry for a week and sealed the wall model in XF86 flat clear. After that I glued it all together.
I added few leaves on top and with that the model was finished. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video where I will show you how to make a small autumn base for your scale model. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.